Hello guys, this is Taco Eval, and today uh, I, I've been working in a Volkswagen Golf MK4 or Mark IV MK4 and um, I'm doing, and this is diesel, so I'm doing um, a little bit, a little bit of everything. This golf um, needs a lot of stuff for inspection. So we, we want to try to pass inspection in Maryland. So that's what I'm doing right now. We have a transmission problems. It doesn't shift uh, into uh, third or four. The RPMs are in the sky. So here is so the car, right check now, it out. Uh, we removed the <laughs> battery, battery tray, intake, the transmission, um, cooler right here because we're gonna we're gonna see if we can add um there's a kit that you eliminate the the hot water going into the thing you know so i i got that this is our the bolt for that thing also uh remove it remove the turbo because whoever put this uh exhaust a uh, brake one of the stats on the turbo and it was kind of leaking there so um we are going to change the the exhaust completely also i uh, found a rust uh, fender so we're replacing the fender too that fender over there it was rusted just a little bit <laughs> the whole bottom one the, the whole bottom part was was missing uh also also uh where is it i don't know who but someone installed it like uh taller um springs i don't know if these springs are from a wagon or from a jeep but look look this thing is it's huge so we're gonna do that automatic tdi it has a uh a hundred and some thousand miles so it, it's it's it hasn't even broken in. Oh, I got the battery unhook, but it looks. I mean, it's pretty solid. So I've been draining the fluid. So guys, um, another thing that I check. Oopsie, I need to do this real quick. Let me see. Let me see. No. Out. So it's got a little bit of everything. The guy um, who sold this car lied to us. He said the transmission was good, and it was not. Also, check this, guys. When you when you um, do a timing belt or something on a, on this ALH, try to see if the cam has some uh, chips in there or, or something. You know. Because that will eat the lifters. So, for example, I don't like how that one looks like. I don't know. Hmm. They look kind of okay. So, uh, on the exhaust part, my son is trying to cut the, the exhaust because they put, uh, oh, he already got him cut it because they, uh, they put like a straight pipe one. So for the inspection, we're going to need a um, catalytic converter, resonator, and a muffler. <coughs> muffler, I don't know how they did it right here. Oh, yeah, it's a straight completely. He was bragging like, yeah, straight pipe, man. Straight pipe. A lot of money. A lot of money, straight pipe. <laughs> uh oh, what we got here? Someone is mad. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Dude, are you okay? <laughs> he was coming from that little hole. Are you okay, buddy? You can go ahead and move. There it went. 
we had the cardboard sitting on top on him. But yeah, this guy lied to us. And uh, transmission no good. So he said the only thing you need to do is replace the fuel filter. I mean the fuel filter, the transmission filter and the fluid. And it'll be fine. I did that. And guess what? Nope, it didn't work. <laughs> so um, now um, I'm here. I'm trying uh, to. Uh, I'm trying to uh, change the this uh, valve valve body. See if that will fix my problem. Because the gears are not slipping. They are going into gear. It's just the so the the valve body takes too much to shift. And the RPMs are way up there, so. So here it is, guys. Uh, it's draining, so I'm gonna be replacing that solenoid or that valve thing, the whole thing. I don't know how I'm, I'm gonna take this uh, plug from the, oh, it's got a 10 millimeter on the bottom. So I guess it comes down. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I might, I might squeeze that thing on the sides, I don't know. If not, I'm gonna have to remove the starter because this cable goes from here to here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find out a way to like undo this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this cable, I might be able to slide it sideways on, on, on the sides without disconnecting the starter. Um, it has a cooling leak, I just saw it, and it looks like it come from this uh, seal. Look, wet. So not the seal, the clip. This uh, plastic clip. Maybe the, the ring is bad or something. Or they might even put them wrong because I can see. There you go. That's. But anyway, it's leaking. It's still leaking. But yeah, guys, uh, this golf, uh, we're going to see uh, if we can tune it. Uh, the guy says it's got newer uh, nozzles, got the 11 millimeter pump. The turbo, I'm going to show you the turbo right now. The turbo, we, we're going to have to clean the vein since it's out. And uh, this is the start they, they broke. I might be able to take it out with two nuts. Maybe tie it right here and get them out. Uh, I'm going to, since they put a new actuator, I'm going to um, check if it's uh, dial in. And this turbo, it looks like it was leaking. But um, the bar cover gasket was... Uh, it was, um, what's it called, like a uh, bat, it was leaking, so maybe it ran down to the turbo. I didn't see, I drilled the inner cooler, drilled the inner cooler to drain it. Right here, you can see the bolt, right here. And it was not much oil coming out, so that tells me that, that it's, it wasn't too much, uh, oil on the on the system or the turbo wasn't that bad it has um new shots or struts i don't know if they put heavier springs so this thing was higher on the sky so hopefully it's, it was just because the other wheels uh oh reflection guys i'm working on that car and um it's getting hard for some reason, I cannot get him started. But uh, guys, uh, I just want to bring you bring you uh, this project that I'm doing right now. So hopefully you guys uh, see it later um, running. So that's it for right now. So enjoy.